disorder, there is chaos, even within the family. So, nasabi nga nila, kung susuriin mo ngayon ang lipunan ng ang, 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 ang pamilyang Pilipino at bunga na nga dito ng tinatawag nating diaspora, ng pagkaka, uh, pagkaka-disperse ng ating mga magulang, ng mga magulang ng mga bata, ng mga, sa mga pamilya ito, ang nanay ay nagtrabaho sa abroad, ang tatay ay naiiwan uh, uh, dito, o kaya nga, kung ano man, nagtrabaho, or what we call the Filipino diaspora is the phenomenon of OFWs. So, the social cost of the uh, phenomenon of OFWs and expats that bring in $26 billion dollars annually to keep our economy afloat. The social cost, the damage that it has brought to the Filipino family has not been subjected to research and studies. So magpahanggang ngayon ang gobyerno natin, siguro, nagpupulag-pulagan, hindi niya pinag-aaralan kung ano ang malalim at malagana na epekto ng Filipino diaspora sa integridad ng ating pamilya. So, our concept of government must, must start with the family. When the power and authority within the family breaks down, then the discipline within that family also breaks down. So, the first, uh, ang, ang, ang unang, tinilani natin, na ang unang nagtayo, ang kataas-taas ang authority at kapangyarihan, na nagtayo ng isang kapamahalaan, ay diliti ba, kundi ang ating Panginoong Diyos. At siya, ang source, o pinanggagalingan ng lahat ng authority, at lahat ng kapangyarihan. Dapat yung malinaw sa atin yan. Ang malalaman natin later on, na kinokopya ng mga tao, kinokopya natin ang unang pamahalaan at ang pinagkakaligan ng lahat ng kapangyarihan. So, maging malinaw po sa atin, the first book of Moses, Genesis, reveals that the first prototype of government was introduced by the Creator Himself long before the first humans existed on Earth. In fact, it gives evidence of a government structure that pre-existed Earth and the physical universe itself. This expression of government structure was a result of desire to bring order to chaos and productivity to interest, uh, to emptiness. In other words, God himself noticed that there is chaos. The uh, closer translation sa ating mika nito ng may umiirang na kaguluhan. At Walang, walang, walang nangyayari yung produksyon. There is no productivity. Whatever. So, siya mismo ang nakapansin sa pangangailangan magkaroon ng isang management o gobyerno. So, now the earth was formless. No order. And empty, chaotic, and emptiness. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters and God said, let there be light and there was light. Well, that is in Genesis 1, 2 to 3. Here we see the impact of a divine, divine invisible supernatural government was necessary because 
of disorder and chaos. Thus, the purpose for government is to maintain productive order and management. management. Furthermore, the creation of mankind was also the result of disorder and the need for management. A little later in Genesis, we find evidence that this is one of God's motives in creating man. He was looking for a manager. So when the Lord made the earth and the heavens, and no shrub of the field had yet appeared on the earth, and no plant of the field had yet sprang up, for the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no man to work, manage, and, or administrate the ground. But streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. So Genesis 2, 4b to 6. From these uh, verses, we see that the Creator 